okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome back to Jazzy the Little's TV. Got the rest of my Amazon packages today. We're gonna start with this one, which is a beautiful table that I loved when I saw it. I just had to have it, and it was the perfect size. So yeah, I'm just gonna unbox it. Hopefully, it's easy to put together. If not, I'm still gonna figure it out and put it together. But yeah, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Mother God. And let's put together this table. So this is gonna be in the home decor playlist. So yeah, first things first, when I'm putting together anything, I always just like leave the boxes neat because you never know there might be damage and you don't wanna mess up the box and it's damaged. So God willing, it's not, but you know, just saying. So let's just open it. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. This is the reason why I just like stopped doing home decor and I focused on other things because as well as I like decorating, getting boxes and everything and dealing with all that, it's like messy and it's, it's like an annoyance that I have. Like, I'm not really a fan who likes to have so many boxes in my house and, and like clean up so much stuff. But anyway, yeah, let's just get back to this. move us out the way really quick. Oh my gee, it's so messy. And there's this like white, white stuff. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's so annoying. It's like white sand. You know me. These are the instructions, but you know me, I hardly ever read instructions. Thanks to my dad, dad, I love you. Because my dad, growing up, he was just the type of dad like, first of all, I didn't even get to sleep on the weekends. He was like, wake up, come, let's get out in the yard, let's fix the car, let's go do some landscaping. Then he like fix his neighbors' houses and cars, and my dad is just like uh, uh, a jack of all trades. He knows how to do everything. So growing up, I definitely learned how to do a lot of things on my own. So yeah. Okay. That was kind of easy. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to clean up all this sand and stuff and then I'll be right back because I can't. The, I don't like grittiness on my feet and it just I'll be back. All right. So, I don't know what's wrong. This it just doesn't completely go all the way down. So, I lifted all the rest of them up and Thank you, Dad. Shout out to my dad because without him, I would not know how to do stuff like this. And so, yeah, I am 
yeah, I'm good at stuff like this. So even though I don't know what's wrong with that hole, we just gonna adjust the other ones to be the same height and we gonna move on. Bracket, bracket, this is what I was doing, putting the brackets on. You put the brackets, you put the screws, you put the brackets, you put the screws, wham, bam, boom. Those little three things are the suction cups and we're gonna put the t top of the table on. So let me go move the camera back over there so you could see me put it on top and then I'm gonna clean it and we're done. <sighs> How cute, I love it. It's beautiful. It's so far away. Girl. I'm a little bit tired. Let's pull this closer. There. just got out of the shower now it's time to uh, hang up more clothes so I got more hangers from Amazon these hangers are in my Amazon store I'll link it below but yeah beautiful purple velvet hangers well now I'm gonna hang up dresses thank you to all the brands that sponsor me and send me clothing I have so much I needed to buy more hangers but how cute is the table right beautiful and now I have to get to the task of hanging up everything look at these cute jeans from H&M so cute right I'm gonna do something with them maybe I'll wear them in this like next video or something but anyway I'm gonna get to hanging and I don't know I think that's kind of boring to watch I don't know even though I know you probably want to watch me do it but it's like yeah yeah <laughs> I'd rather listen to music while I'm doing it and you know how YouTube be with music all right so i fell asleep like watching georgina and i hung up some dresses i'm still finished hanging up all this stuff but these hangers are amazing and the reason why i love these hangers is because they're velvet so it grips the clothes and they're very durable and they're very stretchy they're good. And these, again, are in my Amazon store. So, um, I woke up and I had a package delivered. So, let's just get into it. 
This is another Amazon package because Amazon Prime Day it was just a few days ago. So I ordered some things. Okay, okay. Look at what I got. This is a Paisley sheet set. It's purple. It is shrink resistant, obviously machine washable, fade resistant, lightweight material, and moisture wicking, whatever that means. It's cute, right? Let me take out this green card because it's not even green, it's purple. So it's like, why don't they just put a purple? Oh, the card is in the inside. But anyway, yeah, how cute is this? I just have like different styles of purple sheets, but how cute is this? I love it. It's so cute. So I literally have to go wash this. Okay, so it comes with the fitted sheet. It comes with the bed sheet and oh look, it has a thank you note. It says thank you. For choosing a lifestyle yes i did we don't want this relaxation to end here hence we love to bring more elegance into your home decor on each order with us cute um oh okay wow so it has and then i loved it because it literally has two like purple pillowcases but then it has you know two that match the paisley print of the sheet set i love the fact that it has like variations of purple it's cute and it's like this beautiful design it just reminds me of the trident it's like it has this beautiful herald design it's very regal and i love it so yeah I have to go wash this but first let's just finish hanging up some stuff and then I gotta take out all of those garbages over there They're amazing and it has like a notch right here so you could just you know put it on there but again they're velvet so the velvet just like it helps any type of material just like like a stick to it but not like in a sticky like glue or sticker way but just it helps your clothes stay on the hanger yeah when i was last night i mean yesterday yeah last night i had such an amazing like self-care night it was so good like omg like i took the most amazing shower and i did um I did a spa facial, which I'm gonna put apart. Will it be in this vlog? I'll put it apart of this vlog. Cause like, I'm debating if I wanna put out like what I did over the summer out in like vlogs or in a vlog, but then it's just like summertime has passed. So it's like, I don't know if I really wanna go back there, but I did do a lot of incredible things. So it's like, I'm kind of weighing the option if I wanna like put like my New York summer in a vlog, but then like to compile it all in one is like so much storage. So I don't know. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Um, and last night was when I broke my fast and OMG. Um, what did I eat? Oh yeah, last night I ate the berries and the granola and I put honey on top and it was so good. I just like mostly just relaxed. I took a shower, did my facial, watched Regina. Yeah. And then, oh, in my two closets in my bedroom. Well, if you're watching now, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. Um, so yeah, um, I started hanging out my clothes in my room and I have two closets there. It's like one is a coat closet and one is a closet that has like jumpsuits, it has business attire, 
It has two-piece bodysuits, skirts, yeah. I realized that the hangers in that closet is like a little bit of a different color of purple. They're both purple, but slightly different variations. I don't know if you could tell on the camera. They're slightly different variations. And literally, I was like, all right, so in that closet, I was thinking all the new purple hangers I got, I wanna put them in there just to get to almost the level of almost completing the whole closet, which had a lot of clothes in that closet to realize I don't have enough of these new color hangers to just like be like, oh, I'm just going to switch them out. Yeah. And then by that time, I was like, I don't got time for that shit. So I just was like, you know what? Jasmine, just go to sleep. So then I just decided I'm gonna just put this in my closet that has my dresses and um, my purses, my high heels and stuff. But yeah, um, I had a great sleep. My sleep was so good that I literally woke up and it felt like I had slept for hours. And when I looked, I only had slept for like three hours. Have you ever had that type of sleep? Like you just fall asleep and it feels so good. Like you wake up out of your sleep and it feels like you slept for so long. And then when I realized I didn't sleep for long, I said, you know what, I'm going to get me some more rest. But then I just like, um, I just like started meditating and I guess I fell asleep again in my meditation. So yeah, and then I woke up and I was just like, oh, let's finish and let's complete this. So yeah. I think I have like some makeup on this dress. I do. I wonder if I could get it out. I mean, it's very hard to see, but it's like right here I have makeup on this dress. Nah, yeah, I'm just gonna hang it out. It's like a little line of makeup that's in between the ruffles. But I guess like you can't really see it, so. But yeah, how is your October going? Mine's is going wonderful. I'm also cooking. And let me go turn off the stove. Here it is sizzling. And you know, I don't know the girls, the people, whoever watch me. Um, hey y'all, um, who got an electric stove? It's like, you know, electric stoves, it took me like, a minute to learn how they work but kind of like I like them better than like the gas stove you know and I know some people don't because they feel like the gas is better but then when you think about it like when you cook with gas like all the carbon and all the gas and the ethanol and the chemicals are literally also going in your food if you think about it just think about it just think about it but anyway like and men my pots and my pans are encapsulated and they hold, like they're specially designed for electric stoves. So like the bottom of that encapsulation, it'd be hot. And then it is like, you gotta be careful with the electric stove because it will burn. And even though it's electric, it can catch on fire because it happened to me. Trust me, honey, electric stoves can make stuff catch on fire. Yes, fire with like flames, girl, die, y'all. But anyway, yeah, I'm just like, um, heating up like the beans and the rice. Friday, then I fasted, ate the fruit and granola, and then I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Today is Sunday, the 13th, by the way. So yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, how is your October going? Mine is very, um, very spiritual, very creative and like doing all the like nesting stuff inside my house and this is like the first time within really like the span of two years that i've just been able to like have like time and like have a like break at home 
Yeah, because the first year, it was like, the well, the first two years, my puppy, she was little, so I couldn't really get away from her a lot, but yeah, so I had to be a mom and raise my puppy and like, be in that whole mode. So like, now it's like, I'm happy that like, I finally got, cause from literally, I'll get back to that thought, but from literally from like March until up until last month was the first time that I really have like time for myself and like downtime. So I was just like, okay, let's get back into home decor and yeah. So because it's like, I mean, my own world and my creations, I'll be in my little Buddha land and sometimes I get a call from the Justice League and, you know, I'm called to assist and help saving the world. So then it's like, all right, I'll be my superhero self and I'll do what I need to do to help to the team. And then I'm like, all right, now back to Jazzy Lulu TV. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, let's do the rest of the dresses. The rest of the dresses. But anyway, yeah, how are you guys doing? How's things with your family? Also, I said so many prayers for the people and family in Florida. Like, I definitely have family in Florida. They're okay. And I have family in other states that was also hit by uh, just the storms and the hurricanes and the tornadoes. And it's like surreal, like, Life can change all in a moment, and it's uh, one of the reasons that ever since I was a girl, my grandmother taught me how to like bring that fortitude of strength and to strengthen my faith and to strengthen and to, you know, manifest my life through prayer. And, you know, because people throw out this manifestation word like so easily, but honestly, it's like, you know, in Buddhism, first of all, if we really break down where the words manifestation comes from, it's only two different spiritualities on earth where this word really came. But people don't, you know, give credit to it. But manifestation comes from the two spiritualities that um, I practice. And, you know, in Buddhism, and Mahabadism, it's like, you know, it's not just about saying the word manifestation. This broke, I'm gonna have to fix it, but for the meantime, I'm still gonna hang it up. Um, people are so easily, and it's like people think that just only through, you know, having these concepts of words that they are going to be okay and they use the word manifestation loosely but they're really shitty people or their actions are just horrible and they're creating all this negative karma with other people and it's like i'll be listening to what people say but i'll be like mm -hmm, because i got taught by the senseis and even the shiks and you know the Hare krishnas and you know the Baptist prayer warriors and even Pentecostal prayer warriors and other sets of, at one time, even Jehovah Witness and, um, you know, and Catholicism. And the elders from all of those different sets that have, like, really showed me and taught me to, like, fortify yourself through prayer, it's like, you know... Buddhism is, um, you fortify yourself through prayer, but, you know, when I got to spirituality, not religion, I left religion a long time ago, but when I got to spirituality, um, you know, I just really, it naturally happened, by the way, and people don't realize, like, the karma that they create is in every action that you do. It's in every thought that you have, but more importantly, it's in your intentions. So it's like people throw the word manifestation around, but then they have negative and bad intentions for other people. 
you know? So it's like, okay, go ahead with that. You manifesting bad karma for yourself. That's what you're doing. But anyway, you know, <laughs> manifest all you want, you know? So, yeah. And I'm just like, and <laughs> yeah, I just be like, okay. At that point, I just roll one up and I just go to Buddha land, you know? I'll be in a different, a whole different realm. Because I ain't got time for people and this shit. Really, I don't. I don't. I love the world, but people, mm -mm, mm -mm. If you look it up, you know, if, if we're speaking astrologically and if we're speaking chakra level, I'm an Aquarius, you know. I am the third eye chakra. So the fact that I am a person who you know, has practiced and studied and fortified my own self and the cultivation of myself through myself and the divine and through life experience. And of course, like I just said, through spiritual teachers and, you know, you know, um, Native American practices, like, because like Native American spirituality is so close to like Buddhism and Vajrayism. It's just like, it's the same thing, you know? But these are the words that people use on it. You know, Buddhism, shamanism, Madhavadism, like, that is spirituality. But um, through, you know, through it all, I just be like, mm-hmm, because guess what? Aquarius, we're right here. We are this chakra. We are the crown chakra, so we are the I know. So a lot of times I just be sitting back and I'll be like, mm-hmm, I know, but I see it way before most people see it. Yes, I see it years ahead, decades ahead. A lot of the stuff, I just be like, okay. Because one thing about me is this. I'm a person, I don't need validation from nobody. I approved myself a long time ago. And ever since I was young, ever since I was a child, I had critical thinking skills. And I just saw different from most people. And most people, they want to be not just wanted, but they want to be approved by other people. And Aquariuses, we are like, please, we approve ourselves. And we know that the divine, well, I know that the divine approves me from, you know, just how I live my life and what I do. And they created me, so hey. And of course, it's like a lot of responsibility and that's what the people don't want is the responsibility. But, you know, anyway, so yeah, we're, we have two, three more dresses and we're done. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll be back. I'm gonna take out these garbages. So yeah. Welcome to my closet. Um, yeah, so these are all my dresses right here. And ever since I was little, my dad always like told me I'm a princess, so I love dresses. I have hundreds of dresses, and I still want more. <laughs> of course I do. Abundance, prosperity, femininity, love it. So let's just start hanging them up. My dresses color coordinator to the best of the color coordination abilities. You can I just run it up before I go. Patty with her fatty friend. They like I tell you always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she and her move. 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 She, move. she lit, get money too. Like damn, she and her move. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. 
fake Saying they love me but one in my place Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest So the paparazzi in my face Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger Going viral is getting them sicker Like what? Let's keep it a buck Bitch too boring, I'm stuck in a rut Never get me wrong when I hop at the truck Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt, yeah Pretty face and a waist all gone And I'm making them wait, hold on And I'm making them wait, hold on Wait, hold on Like damn, she and her move 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 She lit, get money too Like damn, she and her move 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 She lit, get money too Like damn, she and her move There are three different purple colors, but this one, it has the notches on the side. Yeah, I'm going to eat and then we'll get back to cleaning out my closets. <laughs> but Jazzy Lulu Hongwei. OMG, I'm so excited. Look how good this looks. <sighs> I am going to enjoy every single last spoon. <laughs> but yeah, look how beautiful. My beans, my rice, my guac, and one of my favorite is um, habanero grilled pineapple. So good, so good. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then uh, get back to organizing the closets. And this is how it turned out. I'm so happy. Everything is organized. <sighs> happy. This is how my coat closet turned out. Everything is organized. I'm so happy. Thank you for watching.